Hey everybody, welcome to Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen. My name is Jay. My name is Colleen. And I'm Kelly, started the fire. <laughs> and welcome to the show. Uh, 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 it was a very Whoa. Uh, heated and, and explosive tribal today, right? Uh, it was a... heated. I think it was, it everyone wasn't was pretty heated. calm. It wasn't heated. It was actually... It was just like last week where we had another another moment on Survivor where people get to to speak their truths to to other people and uh yeah I, the survivor editors are definitely taking more of the microcosm of society approach this season rather than the jeff varner approach <laughs> <laughs> poor yeah. jeff varner yeah um anyway uh i just got to say with this episode i think it proves my point that you know you have Krishna's all that not going to win you have all that time there on the island. <laughs> Why wouldn't you make your uh, shelter, like, make it better, you know? Instead of I being miserable in the first, rain. My first notes I wrote were, bad storm could have used a better shelter. <laughs> and I just feel like, why wouldn't you do that, you know? It's just, that's... That's just my thoughts, <laughs> you know? I, I agree with you 100%. I, if, you, and if you've ever slept outside, and it's rained, and it's rained on you... It's not comfortable sleeping all wet. Luckily, I pro- it was probably warm there. I know, that's what I was saying. Like, I was like, why wouldn't you try to improve it? I mean, aside from getting a tarp, sure. I feel like, like I've heard these this conversation before. Yeah, like, before. why wouldn't you say, yeah. I, I, I can't argue with you. I, I, you know, I, I, I kind of feel bad for not even thinking that, that far ahead. Like, you know, I, I'd i be sitting there and just say, you know, I got to rest and relax. <laughs> I got to rest. You know, I can't work an hour or two a day because that would be just too strenuous. Oh, man. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, but you know, okay. uh, you know, again, we 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 work hard on the shelter for one day, and then we just ignore it. But that's okay. Anywho, uh, let's. I think yeah, we have this nice moment, and at the end of the episode, and we kick it off by talking about the shelter. Hey, I was warm. I, I sleep warm at night. So, um, anywho, <laughs> uh, before we get any into oh, any of uh, this episode, we want to thank people that make the show possible: our patrons over at Patreon dot com slash J and Jack. This show and all of the other podcasts on the Jane Jack Network are listener supported through the Patreon page. If you'd like to contribute today, go on over to janejack.com and click on the Become a Patron link today. Or all if right. you shop Amazon, you can go buy yourself a shelter on Amazon. Oh, there you go. I'm sure they have tar- yeah. tarps there. and oh, They have everything pots. you want there. Yeah. All right, Colleen, take it away. All right, so Survivor, Season 39 out of the Idols, Episode 7. I was born at night, but not last night. <laughs> we start was off. The t- was that the title of the episode? Yes, it was. Okay. We start. Was that said at uh, tribal council? When was that even said? No, that was Boston Rob said it. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Cassandra said a, a girl's gonna win. I'll give you two to one. I was bored said at I night, was but bored. not last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that was also that that line from Sandra was great because it kind of also set up what was going to happen later on at Tribal. I did I find think... out why she had the bandage on. Yes, yeah, she she tweeted about it. Do you want to yeah. share? She did. She was when they were building the shelter, and this is the reason why you just sit around and rest. She got some <laughs> kind of infection or something. Some yeah. uh, something, and she got like bloody blister. Uh, pussy. Was, pussy gross blisters and couldn't hug people and and it was burning, and the doctors change it once a day for her and stuff like that. But but that's why you don't build a shelter. You just deal with the rain. Right, right. See, look, asked and answered, guys. Asked and answered. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Which, speaking of, somebody tweeted at, uh, or put it in the Facebook page, maybe, um, about they really did stay there. I don't know if you guys saw. They yeah, turned not... down the shelter. Oh. They were offered the uh, opportunity to stay at Ponderosa um, or in someplace else. I'm, of course, doing this from memory, and they turned it down. So I guess power to them. I thought I said that, though. I, th- I thought Wiggler or Bloom said it. Oh, 
I don't remember. Yeah. You, okay. Checked about it last week or the week before. Oh, okay. Well, cool. But I, I did see it. I did see it on our Facebook page, and at least we got confirmation. Yeah. Yes, we did. All right. Uh, we go into uh, Vokai, night 16. Uh, Lauren tells Missy she feels betrayed. Everybody's a little bit cocky about having the numbers. We go uh-huh. over to uh, Lyro on day 16, or night 16, rather, and it's raining. Uh, we go into the next morning. Uh, Jamal wants to start the fire. Kelly is not happy that he's being so bossy. She gets the fire going. Um, <laughs> so good for her. Kelly started the fire. Uh-huh. Um Nora is also upset at Jamal because he calls her out on eating too much rice. Um, <laughs> she did seem to have a lot of rice. <laughs> she kind of did. I mean, that was a big shell, and she says she packs it down. Right. So I'm not saying she's right. I'm not saying she's wrong. Who's right or wrong? But to me, I said, that's a big bowl of rice. But again, I'm not there. Right. Uh, I. You know, the, you know, she just makes her classic Nora remark. She's like... I'm over his face and his oppressive remarks. And it's like, really, Nora? Really? I'm going to cut his throat. Really? You have to share I, the rice with the rest of the people, and you're, and that's an oppressive remark, girl. And, and she scares me because I think she would cut people's throats. <laughs> she would too. She's going to cut you with that shell in your sleep. Like she would. <laughs> or just shaft, like shaft you with it at a challenge. Here's your rice. Uh, Thank you. Here's your rice. Thank you. Shafting is something totally different. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's what Dan was trying to do. To... <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, anyway, Nora wants an all girls alliance, but uh, Janet is not doing that. They just want to get Dean out. Janet says it's a matter of keeping Nora's headspace with us. <laughs> uh. Janet then has to go to Island of the Idols. She cries that she's scared, but she gets there and she is speechless upon seeing Sandra. She was definitely and Rob. starstruck. She was, and it was great. She was probably what most of us would be like. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, right, right? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. So, which, I don't know. I would have been very excited. I probably would have been more of the Nora end of things or the Janet. Uh, the um, You're definitely more of a Nora. More of a Nora, yeah, than unfortunately. <laughs> or not Janet. Uh, what's her name? Who went last week? What's her name? You're just a Nora. Uh, don't think you're anything else. No, who's the one that last? Elaine. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Might have been in the Elaine camp, too. But uh, anyway, her lesson is about calculated risks. She can win safety, but without a power advantage, so she can leave the tribal without having a vote or getting a vote cast against her. She talks through the risks of whether or not she should do it, at which point I was like, yeah, she's taking her test right now. And she says she's not going to play because she thinks that leaving a tribal would put her a a bigger target on herself if she left it. And Rob is very happy at her decision. I I agreed. That was was a stupid one. It was. A couple of them had just been, why would you take that? And I I, I was sitting there thinking, hold on, you can't take that. You have to walk away. (laughs) Yeah. No, so no, I she did the right thing. Indeed. Yeah. Uh then as she's leaving, Sandra keeps uh says, I keep saying that the woman of this season is gonna the winner of this season is going to be a woman, and then Rob says, What does he say, Jack? Uh she goes, Well you wanna she goes, You wanna bet? I give two to one odds. He says, I was born at night, but not last night. Or whatever <laughs> it was. I, <laughs> I gotta go work in that shelter. Yeah, but, you know, I did. Know, I did notice in the shelter with the, the with the with the video that was attached to what someone put on Facebook. He did have a hammer and nails. He had a shovel. He has better tools than I think they have. Yeah. At the other show, so I will give him that. But still, I would build a better shelter. Yeah. Um, you know, it would be funny if there was like a. I mean, it would take way too much time. So I say this, you know, with a grain of salt. If there was like a side challenge where you know every time. The person they sent away, like, successfully completed their task. They get, you know, something way cool to, like, add to their shelter. Like, you can have the hammer and nails if uh, what's-his-face can crawl on the floor in stealth mode overnight. <laughs> <laughs> or you can get your own, you can give Dan his own shelter. God. Yeah, oh God, yeah. So, Janet goes back, tells a similar story to Kelly, who was a little bit nervous. We got a lot of Kelly this episode. 
And well, if you just told the truth the first time, would you have to be nervous every time someone goes over there? But nobody has told the truth yet. I know. I I think because I, I think it's just a. Uh, I think people are coming back and realize it's better just to keep quiet at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we go over to Vokai, though, night 17, and Dan is snuggling with Elizabeth, who is not asking to be a snuggled with. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know how someone does that. I mean, oh. it just. Oh, I, I do mean, it every it just... night. <laughs> That's true. Uh, and, but I'm, and, I'm and saying, being... but it, it, if, if it's, it's like. It, it, you shouldn't be doing that. And it, I, just, trust it, me. it really, it really irritates me. As, again, as a male who is snuggled against his will every single night <laughs> by his wife, I can agree with this sentiment. Completely well, you can tell your wife, no, I don't want to snuggle. I, I do. She doesn't take no for an answer. Okay. But Dan Much is, like Dan. Dan's doing is it with no people. Answer? He, Dan has no relations with these people. He has no business. Exactly. Yet. Exactly. We're just teasing over here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We're joking just, around. Because so, I'm married to you, I don't have, I don't have, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't have agency in my life's choices. Well, you, sh- you should have, but again, it's a, it's a little different because Dan is just. I know. I know. It was part of my prenup. <laughs> wait, we have a prenup? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> This is a game changer. <laughs> I like my freedom. I'll just say that. I like my freedom, but I, I, I Dan just, they're just, I can see, you know, sometimes you're sleeping and you, you know, you're moving around and you, you do it by accident. He's, he's not doing it by accident. He, he's got issues. Yeah. It is very unfortunate for him. <laughs> well, like I guess for everyone around him, not for him. What am I talking about? I'm tired. Uh, Anyway, so but it's a short scene, and then the next scene though we see, and this has to be included for a reason, because yeah. uh, you just have that like you know ten second clip, and then they're all talking about it the next day. So I'm wondering if it comes into play later on, um, and that's why we even well, saw well, that and the following conversation to begin with. Well, they're laughing about it and they're doing some things, but I think it was, it was uh, awkward laughing. Right, right, right. Um, you anyway. think one of the guys? I mean, I hate to put it this way, but one of the guys should have went up and said, "Hey, Dan, you need to sleep with the guys." Right. <laughs> you, you can't because they're uncomfortable. I mean, it just you can't keep doing. You're that. not exactly. welcome here anymore. I mean, because right. because Kelly's gone up to him, they, they've they've approached him, and he's still doing it. Someone needs to step. I mean, or or be or not making a gender. All the tribe mates need to go up to him and say, "Look, you got to stop doing it." Right. Or we're going to vote you out. Which I don't understand why they don't just vote him out anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah what is he I, offering I think he's they, just not I, threatening I, in the game itself. He's not threatening. And I think it's it's more at this point, they want to, you know, you want to win. But do you want to, I, I, I don't know. The guy, he just, I don't know. I, <laughs> I just, know. He's slimy. Yeah. It's, he's, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can, he can say it's editing and stuff. We've seen too much of it that it's it's a pattern, so. Yeah, we have – that's exactly – like, that's got to be in there for a reason because we keep seeing it. So I wonder if it comes to play later on in the season. Well, maybe that will be the third thing we learn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you never learn. know. You never know. It, it could be. We go uh, listen to the next day, uh, 18, and the chickens are – the three that are left, Tommy, Lauren – and Lauren are going to throw Dan under the bus. They spread a rumor that Dan wants to get people out, which is funny that that's the rumor they're spreading about Dan. <laughs> the rest of his actions are kind of speaking for him, themselves around yeah, there. Yeah, again, again, I said I would, I would have said, you know, hey, this guy's got issues. That's the direction I went because they were all talking about it, right? And and you have Missy on the other on the other side who's too smart to come up with some, you know, because she's she's observant and she goes, well, they're thick, thick as thieves. Tommy and uh, Lauren, so that wasn't going to work, right? So anyway, anyway, you you, you got to know who you who you're playing with, right? And who knows if they had gone to tribal council, maybe Dan would have been voted out. Maybe that's true. That's true. Like, we just we just don't know. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, we go into the immunity challenge. Um, they've got to throw the coconuts and do the puzzle. And I learned today that it's all about the size of the coconut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They say size, size doesn't matter, that. but... Yeah. But in the end, Vokai wins, and it was close. Like, they had the wrong answer, and then Lyro almost came back. And then in well, just at the very, very end, Vokai manages to, to squeak out the win. 
Well, here that you can tell they don't respect the lame. She's clearly saying it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong over and over again. Yeah. And they still went ahead. Jeff, 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 wrong. She's kind of going. She clearly they could have lost because they they weren't listening to her. I don't think they respect her. I think they so think the, she's just she's not very bright, and she is. With the other, the other tribe. Uh, did they just not place it in right? Because it looked like everything was there, and it just didn't make sense. It, right. I think it was because it was a middle one. They were having trouble getting it in. Okay, gotcha. Jeff. <laughs> That's what she said. I know <laughs> they didn't. They didn't play their edges right. Well, you had you had to. I think you had to. They were trying to put it in at an angle. You had to put it in flat. Right. I mean, it's the only oh, okay. way. It's the only yeah, way it's yeah, going to fit. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. Right. You're, you're you're trying to push it in this way and push it in this way. There's only room probably just go on top and then just push it down. He Jamal, I don't know what Jamal was doing. He was kept trying to push it in and and wedge it, and it wasn't going to work that yeah, way. Yeah, it's like almost like bring it up and go like straight down. Yeah, exactly. Just get two people, lay it flat, and anyway, they should have won, but they they choked it, gagged it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the way it goes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we go over to back to the Lyro camp. They all want to vote Dean out, or or maybe Nora. Uh, Dean feels safe because Nora is freaking insane. Kelly's idol expires after this tribal council. She wants to do something big. She wants to work with Dean so the idol doesn't go to waste because she likes him because she knows his ex-girlfriend, which um, I listened to Jason's exit interview on RHAP this week, and I guess he dated Nora's cousin in college. Really? Yeah. Nora's cousin? Uh-huh. And they so, figured it wait, out because oh he Jason, asked her. Oh, Jason did. Jason did. Jason did. Yeah. Oh, I think I thought Dean. I wait. Dean baited. Okay. Okay. So Jason dated. So they they must know each other. They didn't know each other. I guess uh, they had the no, same no, last no, name no, or something. Maybe. Doesn't want to hang around her. <laughs> right. <laughs> I guess they they had the same last name, so or something like that, and uh, you know he, they kind of figured it out a few days in. So I thought that. Uh, you know, hmm. Nora seems to have like three degrees of separation with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> or well, Dean, fair, or I, or I guess I, Dean does, I, Nora I does. Never met her, hang what? I said I have cousins I haven't met and or haven't seen in years. So well, no, she I, might I, she no might know her cousin, but she if Dean dated her in college, you know, I don't know all of my cousins yeah, true. boyfriends and girlfriends from but college didn't, didn't nora have a didn't nora say that she, uh, jason reminded her of an ex-boyfriend yeah i think um he made a joke about this he said i guess our family has a type <laughs> 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 so i just yeah funny funny um so anyway she wants to work with dean uh, not like waste. She wants to give him an idol in exchange for him to vote for Jamal or Jack. She makes a calculated risk. I was like, look at this. The editor, they must have got, they got a new casting director. They've got a new, they must have a new editing team. Like everything just fell into place this episode, like I, a puzzle piece. I, I did like her confessional though, when she came up with the idea. Oh and yeah. She just stop, and she just stops and there's like an hour goes by. And then she then she explains what it was. Yeah. Oh, I know. I, I, I was like, that's a very me confessional. Yeah. I just. Ha- oh. <laughs> they should have played some music or something like the, the Jeopardy music or something. But I kind of like that because like right after she had like it all really formed and kind of planned out and had her whole thoughts together. But there was no hems and haws and kind of trying to discover as you went along. She had a very succinct and yeah. planned out thing. So. It was only, what, like 10 seconds? But the fact that she took the time and then was able to formulate that type of plan, I thought, was a good sign. You know, it's easy to make fun of it, but I do think at least she was productive in that time she took. Well, it could have backfired, though. I was thinking at one point, I was like, why take the chance? Yeah. I mean, why take – you don't know what's going to happen, but but it worked out. But like she said, it could have been a huge blunder. So here's my thing, and I guess uh, we could talk about that now. We could talk about that after we talk about the tribal. Um, but the thing, what we find out is she gives it to Dean. Like, she does it so under the radar that I'm kind of wondering, other than just having Dean be loyal to her, which 
everybody on both of his tribes now have chum- gone after him. So I don't know how much having Dean as an ally helps you out, but it helps him out as, you know, having you to protect him. But it's not like he's bringing along a whole bunch of people to the relationship. But um, she wanted well, to do it to make a big move. And I guess she has his vote on the jury at the end, but nobody else knows about it. Like, But look who she, look who she has in her her alliance she has jamal who she doesn't trust she has or like uh, or nora nora who she you can't trust her and then she has karishma so she really doesn't have a strong alliance yeah so she i think she was thinking okay if i get dean on my side we get to the merge i can we can kind of work with maybe i can get some stronger players and go further in the game because i'm not gonna go for, far with those those players i have there because I think Jamal, the, the minute he would, he had a chance, he would take her out. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm surprised they didn't make the play on on Jamal. And I think Colleen, you kind of were reading it well. That I it thought that been Jamal. I thought it was going to be Jamal. I really, I so. really I did. So also. Like they set it up in the beginning when they had the I don't like Jamals. Um, I was kind of bummed because I liked Jamal and I wanted to see him go further. So I was, I guess I was happy if it was going to be either Jack or Jamal. I guess Jack would be the one that I would sacrifice. But it's just interesting that I was like, what's so special about Dean other than he's a number for you, I guess. Like, you, he's good he's at challenges, so he's going to probably, you know, be an immunity risk at the merge. Nobody knows that she did this. Like, you know, she had great points during the tribal. Um, she, you know endeared herself i guess with what she was talking about when it came to the actual play itself though i was confused as to why why do something like that with nobody except that one person knowing that you did it like it doesn't go on your resume it doesn't it doesn't help you it doesn't help you advance yourself it, beyond it that one person it, if she makes it to the final three she can she can bring that up and say, yeah, I did that. This is what I did to get my further into the game. And I, like, again, I, I, I'm not going to align myself with Nora because she's a loose cannon. But Nora like voted said, for Dean uh, for Jack. The only two votes for Jack tonight were Nora and yeah, and because Dean. she told Nora that she, if she was smart, she told Nora that her name had been coming up. Yeah. So, okay. The the thing though that, that was that was also part of her plan was that she told Nora that your name your name has been brought up. Right, which it had been, but Nora and Dean don't particularly like each other. So why no, they, would Nora? They, they don't. But, but I think that if I if I'm again going to uh, Kelly, I'm looking at who I'm aligned with. I'm like, eh, it's not a it's not a strong alliance. And again, Nora is, is like Debbie. You, yeah. you, she's too. She's she's too. Number one, she's too honest. She you saw her at tribal. She just talks forever, and she just gives out too much information. And you can't – you're not going to win the game with someone – align with someone like that because she's eventually going to give up your your what your plan is. I Yeah, no, and I get that. I, I totally get that. I just – I don't see what the cal- – what the calculated risk, what the ultimate – other than chipping away at, you know – I think Jack she, I think that she, tribe. Her, her goal is to build a new a new alliance when when the merge. I think she figured she had her and Dean have a connection. She'd be loyal with Dean. Nobody else uh, likes Dean though. <laughs> but I, I get that. But but Dean, she's like I said. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put my money on staying with Nora and Karishma. Right. I'm not gonna put my money with Karishma. Janet. Yeah. I think she has an alliance with Janet. Yeah. I just I don't see like this doesn't go on her resume. Uh, other people are doing things that are like in your face that they could go in out like, Hey, you know, eight votes back, back when we were, you know, eight, eight I episodes think, ago, she, I, 10 I people you, ago, but, I did that thing where I gave him the idol and I saved him. Well, that was my one, big move. Well, like, I don't see the point of that. Here's the thing. It was expiring. So you had to do something with it. And I think the fact that it was ex- expiring, if you're, she, if you're she too made, scared to make the move in front of everybody else, is it wrong? But it's better because this yeah. way she made way. the move, and I, I, I think it's much better that than to do nothing. At least she did something with it, and she changed the dynamic of the game and got rid of Plus, a plus she, was wor- she was worried about competing with Jack. Yeah, and I think that was fair because Jack was loved by everybody, so I don't think And, and, and who got blood move. on their hands? I don't think not, it was a bad move. Kelly. I just don't understand the point of doing it in secret. 
Because nobody, you don't get the credit for it, and it's all you should be able to get the credit for it. Well, Dean, at a certain, certain point of the game, you have to survive. Yeah, you can start, I don't... You can, she's because I, I then she, she'd also have to explain. Well, where did you get that exactly. idol? You didn't yeah, tell anybody you had an idol. It's way worse now to go gonna, out and be bombed. Now, now she's going to be putting a target. I mean, we talked about it before. If you don't tell people you have an idol, well, Jamal which found is the his. Thing I, to do. Jamal found his idol at the camp. Why would yeah. it have been tough for her to say, I found this at camp? she went to Island of the Idols, and they all expected her to have it. Or yeah, she could just say, I found it at camp, like no. Jamal found his. Yeah, but that's not going to be believable. Why? why? I don't she know why you want her to like, uh, come out and say it. I feel like she made a perfectly good point. Okay. That's, in fact, she even said that's what she was worried about. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll have to agree to disagree. I hear what you're saying, but I, I think she, she was worried about Jack. And she got rid of a player that she didn't think she would have trouble beating without any blood on her hands. Yeah. All right. I think that's a win. All right. Well, then. And she can, she can always say it. it like I said, what moves? Did, they always ask, what moves did you make? Well, we, do you remember when, uh, remember when Dean 10 played his idol? Ago, I, I, gave uh... it to, I gave it to him. All right. And, and I'm the one that's that not her only play. She, she, it's... Here's the thing. That's not her only. That may not be her only play. And the fact that it's still under wraps allows her to continue to make more big plays. And if you're talking about building a resume, it's really hard if you're going to put your name out there that early on because then there's going to be a target on your back. But the fact that she did it under the radar, she still has a, the ability to make more moves. And then if she gets to the final three, she can not only say that one from 10 weeks ago, but then she say the one from five weeks ago and the one from this past week. So this allows her to continue to make big moves because there's not going to be a target on her back because she didn't make some bombastic, you know, big right. showy play. All right. When she's in the final three and if she wins the game and she brings that up, then you guys are right. We're just going to have to play the long game here. <laughs> (laughs) But I will say, I will say, not all players can just do nothing and win the game like Michelle, Colleen. I know that's your preferred player, but I think in general. (laughs) Screw you. That's not my preferred player. That's not funny. Kelly's actually had to go to tribal council. Yeah, she's had to go and make moves. Which I know you're wearing. She didn't go 22 days or 23 days without ever going to tribal. So, you know. I mean that's that's true gameplay right there, right? Just not having. To I like how anything. Jay decides to join the conversation and then just. <laughs> you know, you know, if you're if you just happen to get lucky, and you're on the, you know, there's there's people that win the Super Bowl, World Series, or, yeah, yeah, like they, where they don't have to actually do anything, anything to the very end. But, you know, just... All right, out of all the things I thought we were going to take a long time talking about this episode, this was not one of them. <laughs> At Tribal Council, did anybody notice that Jack had a worm crawling on his buff? Because I kind of tripping me out. I couldn't unsee it. I was like, "Why is that I, there?" I didn't notice. I did not notice that. Yeah, it was there. If you go back and rewatch it, it was there. Was definitely I'll have to go a worm. Back and rewatch it just for the worm. Yeah, the worm was in different positions too, which made me wonder, like you know, did he, did the he editing not know time there? in between. Yeah, at some point it's gone, so I assume that at some point he must have realized or it, like, fell, but, yeah. He always, he always looks like he's kind of stone. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe he's just, you know. What was that dude's name that we always that thought with Island Weed? What was his name? Oh, the, I, the I remember Gen that guy. The Gen X millennial he, he, season. He, that dude was stoned all the time. <laughs> what was his name? I know who you're talking about. I can't remember, I can't remember <laughs> his name. Oh, well. <laughs> um. All right, so... Uh, Jamal's nervous. Nora is doing her crazy laugh again. Uh, Jamal makes a comment: "The power of women when they get to that he knows the power of women, then they get together and understand the collective their collective power." And then Kelly calls uh, sexism on that uh, because she says well, that. Can nobody, I can I say something? Right when Jamal said that, I go, "Oops." <laughs> <laughs> know your audience, bro. Honestly, yeah, I, I did not at first. It wasn't until Kelly started talking. Um, I, I I know I said oh that's going to come back to bite him. <laughs> well, I think it, given the yeah, so uh, but I don't think he said it in like any malicious way or even any no. thoughtless way. To be honest, no, um, but it's 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 just the it's what the it's how am I going to say this? I get in trouble. It's the way the world is because we live in our own world, and sometimes we say things offensive that we don't realize is offensive. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, because it's just something you go, I didn't, you know, I didn't even realize that. But they're not screaming at each other. They're handling it like, you know, humans and they're discussing it and going, okay, I see your point. That's how if people scream at each other, then it just becomes, you know, a crazy argument. But I I just, I like the way it was handled. I I agreed with it. And And I, I would love to see the full edit of this tribal because 
it was interesting that it started off with Kelly basically being like, you know, shame on you for saying that because nobody ever brings up men's alliances because they're arbitrary. Um, nobody ever talks about them. And then well, guys, by well, the end of it, always... Jamal is smiling and saying that he's loving the, the whole conversation. So it was kind of like that was a stepping point to bring in this other this other thing. But I'm wondering what else we kind of missed in between, because by the end of it, it was more of a broader discussion about, you know, society in general, um, more than presented as like a teachable moment like last week's moment was. So I would I hope I don't know. I would love to see like how that whole thing went down. But the whole conversation in general was just great. It was just great, great, great. Um I I like how Nora is like, well I've considered it all girls alike. Yeah. Well I and she's because she's honest. And it, like I said, it it does it is part of the game and it is mentioned. I don't know if I don't know if women I don't can't off the top of my head remember women going, it's an all guys alliance, but guys do say I've we have a bro alliance. We, they they name they nickname yep. their alliances. So maybe it's a guy thing where they just. I I'm, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if you know I'm sure it has happened, but I can't remember women going. Oh, they have the old guy alliance. I I don't remember that ever being said. I'm sure it has, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. But we forgot to mention though when Nora calls out Dean, you know you don't even look me in the eye. Well, because Dean thinks she's crazy, but I liked how Dean came back and said, "Well, you're trying to get Jamal out." Oh yeah. Yep. And I, I said that was a great counter by by Dean because then Jamal's like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Laura and, and and Nora kind of was going back and forth. He goes, "Well, you didn't give me an answer." He goes, "Well, you know." <laughs> yeah. Well, that worked out okay for her since he played an idol for her. <laughs> I only think I, only think I can reason why he played the idol for her was he was he was thinking uh, that you know maybe uh, I don't know what he was thinking. On I, that I, I I had a theory on this. Um. And then I want to go back just to the conversation real quick. Um, but my theory that I think when Dean pulled out his idol and Nora was like, hmm, he, why didn't he play that last time? And like this. Which makes sense. Yeah. Very suggestive way, which I was like, oh, my God, is she going to like blow up Kelly's spot right now? Like, what is going on? And then it just kind of goes. And I think that Jamal got nervous because Nora and Dean very much don't like each other, that he was like, oh, crap, if Dean is going to play his idol, then that means he's going after Nora to get right. her out because he doesn't like her. So I think he made a risk of who Dean's most likely target would be not thinking that Dean was working with somebody else who wanted Jack a, out. So I wonder what the a, repercussions that, of that are going to be. That's a good point because uh, Kelly did a great job of acting. I almost yeah, forgot she that she, yeah. she was part of the plan because she looked like, Oh my God, her face was just like, Oh my God. But Nora did was Nora was smart. Like, well, why didn't he play it last week? Yep. Cause he was in trouble last week. Why wouldn't you have played it last week? Yep. Well, Nora, maybe he just found one this week. <laughs> well, I think that's I think that's what they're going to say. Yeah. yeah, but but still, I mean, it was when observant. she said that it was observant, and I was like, "Huh? Does she know about it? Does she not know about it? Like, is she blowing up the spot?" I just I couldn't figure it out, and I'm sure it could have just been a Noraism, which I've just well, Nora's not stupid. Make a thing. She's just, she's just she just is crazy. I mean, she's just. That's one way to say it. Well, I know, I, mean, she, I know. She's, crazy just, is she's such just very, a... very honest and very matter right. of fact. I guess it's a better way of saying than crazy. But right, and just... we shouldn't say crazy because we're talking about how women are perceived by society, and a lot of times they're called crazy as a well. I, 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 term, I, but... I call most men crazy too. So it's just... <laughs> I probably shouldn't call anybody crazy, but um, you know, right? Pro- probably not. But she Brandon does have Hans, a, I'm pretty sure I called him crazy more than once or twice. So. She does have something that I think would be described in the closed captioning as a maniacal laugh. Yo, yeah. <laughs> 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 but uh, she's just very she's a very honest person, but she's very I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But uh Anyway, back to this discussion. Karishma brings up the microcosm society and how and and you know, given with Me Too in the last year. Because don't forget, they filmed this season um, back in the springtime. Yeah. Um, you know how it's going to be brought into the game. Things that well, happen. Dan didn't see any of that, but no. But, yeah, Dan. Uh, Dan's been sleeping for the last two and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> Literally sleeping. Um. He was and in how, a coma. He's been in a coma since the '80s, so it's it's not his fault. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. 
he slipped back into one back in like 2015 and, you know, yeah. awoke from it in March 2019 to go play Survivor. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Well, it makes sense. It's, it's, it's possible. <laughs> um, But yeah, I just like that she brings about brings in, though, that what happens in society, just like the game has evolved, the way that people play the game are going to evolve based on what's, you know, the the temperature of the outside world, I guess. Um, I think it's always been that way. Yeah. Uh, but then I, uh, Janet has this wonderful, uh, wonderful, you know, they're like, you know, give the old lady a chance to speak. And I don't mean that because she's not an old lady, but like, they're like, you know, you're the oldest one here. Why don't you talk about it? And, you know, she's like, it's, uh, it puts us down to assume that we're going to bond based on gender. Um, we need men and women behind us to be successful. But then I thought it was interesting that she ended it with uh, that thing that we women tend to do, which is like, sorry, you know, like I do a lot. Does that make sense? Sorry. And she kind of, she did that too, which I thought was very, you know, another thing that, you know. Well, it's also a game and you don't want to, you're, you're trying to, it's like the whole thing going with Dan. Why people aren't confronting Dan. I mean, I think they're worried. I don't know. I just, see, I maybe know she's, the way maybe she's, she's, the way she said it to me reminded me of like when you say something, but you don't want to rock the boat and especially women do this and then they like apologize right away for their opinion. Yeah. I, I thought what she said, it was fine. I mean, I thought it was perfect. Um, and then Jamal is beaming with pride that the women are able to speak about their perspectives and that he's getting new perspectives. So, and you know, I think Jamal was all of us in that moment. Yeah. Like at the end where he was just like, you know, well, again, sometimes you say things and you don't, you're, you're thinking it's nothing, it's nothing wrong with it, but then you go, Oh, okay. That, right. I, I get it now. I was wrong. And yeah. you try and you try to learn from that and not say it again, but it's just, there's, it's it's just been you know the world was a different way for you know forever and now it's not so you have to change with the times exactly and like Jamal said last week apolo- like sit back and li- like apologize and then listen to what that other person's saying and then learn from it moving forward and that's how we advance as a you know as a society right so yeah I mean some people aren't going to listen that's just the way I mean we're all different but. I think most people would listen. I would hope that most people would listen. Thoughts, Jay? I uh, That's what I thought was kind of neat about it. And again, I think we kind of talked about at the beginning of the episode, but the fact that, um, you know, both instances of, you know, bringing up uh, these topics that are part of um, uh, our social, social um, movements at the moment um, is a, a much ref- more refreshing take than I think Survivor producers have played in the past, which is just kind of playing it up for the drama, uh, but actually having like a real, you know, frank, honest discussion uh, between people that's respectful. They're, they're, they're having a true social experience. Yeah, exactly. And it's like Experiment, everyone's being I should say. respectful of, of each other um, as opposed to just making it a spectacle, which is which is nice. So I, I give kudos to the producers and editors of the show this season for that. Yeah. And isn't it nice that every episode is not about idol play and we've actually had more of the social kind of stuff. I, I think that this episode had something for everyone. It had strategy for the strategic people. It had a good, you know, societal moment and it had, and it had idol play for the people that like big moves. So. <laughs> and it, it also had another Blind side to the the viewer. I I had no idea Jack was going home. That's true. That's very true. Neither did I. I mean, I, I even though it was brought up by uh, Kelly and she was the mastermind behind this whole thing. Well, according I just to Colleen, did, I just, Kelly's I never, move when Jamal like... played his idol. I went, oh, he's going home. Jamal. I don't think I don't think Kelly's move was bad. It's just not the way I would have done it. <laughs> Here's the thing: like we all know that Colleen doesn't think Kelly's move was like a good move. Oh my god! Like it wasn't Michelle winners at it Michelle levels move, right? But, yeah. You know, I you know maybe some other <laughs> when, when people said who's Michelle? <laughs> oh, I'll give her a million dollars. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are the worst. She, she didn't make me mad, so I'm giving her a million dollars. Well, sometimes that's Aubrey, all you have to do. Aubrey is made just, me mad. You got to be the person to vote for that is the least that makes people the least mad. <laughs> that's also <laughs> very topical. <laughs> Anyway, um, all right. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's a good place to uh, 
cap it off here for us. Uh, let's get into some listener feedback. Before we do that, let's take a quick commercial break. Listener feedback. All right, it's I'm listener like feedback time. Colleen, what do you got for us? All right, our first email is from Mandy, and Mandy says, Mandy. Mandy. I'm glad you three picked doing a podcast over going to see Fair Play's podcast in Durham. A, he has a podcast. What? And B, no, I would never go there. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, th- I'm, th- I'm thinking Fair Play has no problem with Dan. <laughs> I'm, thinking. I, I'm, I'm just guessing. Yeah, in right. fact, he probably has a shirt, T-shirt he's made, I love Dan. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Or hug me, Dan. Free hugs for Dan or something oh, like that. Oh, God. He, oh, yuck, he, no. He, He's probably got a shirt made for Dan already. I'm, I'm just, I, th- I think he makes shirts, right? He yes, does. It's one of his things. Oh, okay. God. You're right. Oh, no. You're right, Jack. Yes, you're on fire this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm observant. I sit, I'm like Elaine. I sit back. All right. I know what's going on. I might play stupid. Yeah. It might look stupid. <laughs> it might be stupid. But uh, But you're not no. stupid. <laughs> Uh, Mandy continues if Janet did the right thing shouldn't she have gotten a reward I love her so much all the best players get blurred oh I I saw I saw I saw Mandy tweet that I'm like going her reward was making the right move right (laughs) so I'm pretty sure that uh that let me start the sentence again I'm pretty sure that Immunity Challenge was the closest in a long time. We were at the edge of our seats. Yes, because sometimes you you think that the editing is making it closer because you see it go back and forth. But they had the wide shot, and it it was that close. Yeah, it was. Jeff looked looked like he was going to – his head was going to explode. He's looking (laughs) back and forth. (laughs) Right. Like They they pretty much had it. They just couldn't get it, like, in. That's what she said. Um. Mandy says, we never talk about men's alliances. It's arbitrary. Queen Kelly. Now Queen Janet. I'm so moved by everything about this conversation. A strong, smart, independent woman is winning this season. Oh, I forgot to mention, but it was awesome that they even incorporated Sandra's reactions into Mm -hmm. the whole discussion. Like she, you know, nods at points. And yeah, it was just great. Like, yeah. Uh, she says, Lauren is my winner's pick, but if Jay gets to pick again, he should pick Kelly. Uh, Mandy. P.S. Why I is. Would. I, Colleen definitely wouldn't, but I would definitely maybe throw one for <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> she doesn't I have much of a resume. She doesn't Kelly. have much of a resume that you've seen. Yeah, it's just like if. <laughs> If a idol play falls in the woods, does, does it, count? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. If the happen. idol play falls in the woods and no one sees it, then there was no idol played. <laughs> Plus, if Dean gets done, say Dean gets voted out on the jury, he's probably going to tell people at yeah, Ponderosa exactly. that's what happened. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, fine. There, Colleen, stand your ground, okay? You guys have valid points. I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't okay? I don't I'm sorry. <laughs> Colleen, I don't know why you're against strong women winning Survivor. Yeah. I just don't understand it. You I don't get it. Just knock this strong woman down, okay? I'm sorry. You guys are right. <laughs> <laughs> we have a guys' alliance going on. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's arbitrary, okay? <laughs> We're kidding, Of course, Jay's a, little, Jay's a little crazy. But what do you going to do? That's true. I've heard him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for Nora's exit interview. And now knowing that we're going to get Nora at final, final tribal council, it's going to be great like, oh, in yeah. some form. Anyway, P.S. Why is Jack on the jury? Why are we starting the jury now? Um, how did he know he was on the jury? They, he said it. He said at the end. I, I know, but how did he know? They probably decided, like... They probably told him, like, yo, this dude's going home and keep – I don't know. There's a lot of people left, though, aren't – isn't there? Unless they told him he's going to Ponderosa, then he knew he was on the jury. No, no, no. no Je- that, Jeff, said, Jeff says – Jeff said at the, the end of the vote. The, oh, did he? I didn't, yeah. I didn't yeah, hear Yeah, the I next person – I don't listen to Jeff a lot of times, so I apologize. Yeah, he says the next person voted out and the first member of our jury is Jack. Because he didn't say when they, they came in for the immunity challenge, he goes, such and such getting their first look at the tribe. Yeah. He he always says that. And he didn't say that. I don't know. They also barely had a introduction this week, too. True. No. And it was a fa- it was a fast challenge, too, so 
Know. Yeah, but you know what? We had that great conversation at Tribal, so I'm glad that they yeah. made the, okay. they left space for that. Um, credit to Maddie, her daughter, for pointing, for catching, for listening to what Jeff said and hearing that. And then she said, P.P.S. Next week's is a two-hour episode. Two hours? Oof. So double elimination. I guess so. So we're going to have to. I think it counts for double elimination, which is two hours. This means it's like two episodes that were like put together. Double elimination is like if it's like one episode and two people. That's home. true. Like last week, last year, last year, last season when Kelly and David went home and it was both like within that same hour, right? Yeah. Okay. So so we yeah, have picked twice. Is double elimination. This is just two episodes taped together. Just means more commercials. God, yeah. the commercials now have just gotten oh, yeah. egregious. But we had like 20 minutes without a commercial, and I know that because I was waiting to go pee. And, and we had, after that, like a 10-minute commercial break. Anyway. I, that's, the, that's the one thing I do regret of not having a DVR anymore because I would literally start the, the episode at 8.25 and be done at 9 o'clock. Yeah, that's true. You're used to. Well, the great thing about if you ever get that antenna is you can get a DVR for your antenna, and then you can record stuff. Oh well, okay. That's something I can shoot Wait, for. Do we have the okay? <laughs> moving on. All right, moving on. Our second email is from Victoria. Victoria, and she says, "Do you have the answers?" Well, wow. hello everyone, wowzers! I remember watching Dad Bod last year and thinking there was no way that Chris could win. So, I was back in shock mode when they showed the recap. Man, oh man. I thought the risky move this tribal was the one that Dean did. I was surprised that he started off speaking and throwing Nora under the bus. She was a true liability, and I wonder if she's ever even watched this show. She's definitely (laughs) the worst liar I've ever seen in my entire life. She makes me so mad as a Marylander, a Marylander, because she did not, she is not repping the DMV right now. Arg. (laughs) Then, for me, Kelly started to do the same thing, and as a therapist, I saw right through her passion, and I think the tribe did, too. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting take. Yeah. Uh, I thought that Karishma gave the best response, and I was happy to... Wait, what does she mean by saw right through her passion? Like, you know, maybe passion was like a miss thing there, but maybe the... I don't know. Like, okay. Uh, I thought that Karishma gave the best response and I was happy to hear her view. Then Janet brought it home and made me proud. You can tell that it made Jamal think and change his view of his own, his view of his own views, even though he was right about the girls alliance. And and I agree (laughs) with that. Um, Sadly, Jack went home and I didn't even know who he was. I think it was a huge mistake to not take Dean out. I agree and then, uh, and then I don't, for the love of me, know what the purpose was taking Jack out when he was no threat at all. If anything, Janet should have been the takeout because she gets along with everyone and can easily win the social game if she connects with the other tribe. I don't know, guys. This season, while good, makes no sense to me. At this point, I'm still on Team Tommy, but he's not getting any edit time, which worries me. Thinking Dan the Toucher is next, or Missy, because <laughs> meh, why not? Maybe Nora <laughs> will take out Jamal because... He will tell her that uh, she owes him one and she will flip. So it's interesting that Victoria has that take because, A, I think it was a huge mistake to not take out Dean. But you guys made a good case for why she might want to keep Dean around. Um, so we'll see who's She's, right she there. She said she didn't trust Jack. She, she said she couldn't. She said yeah. it. She said I don't, it. He's he's great social game. He's good in challenges. I think I would struggle beating him. Right. See, we have a different perspective of Jack because we did not get a lot of him like from the end. No. So she, he might be a much bigger personality around camp, right? Exactly. You, but, did have, you did have Jack telling Jamal, hey, you're a little overboard on the fire thing. Yeah. We didn't even talk about that because, you know, because Jamal wasted half the flint trying to get the fire started. Right. And Kelly, and, we know she knows how to do it because she learned from – Yep. Boston Rob and she's and he even said she starts the fires if she can start the fire why are you why are you fighting her with the fire wait was that Kelly or Elizabeth that learned from Boston it was, Rob it was, it, it was, uh, was it Elizabeth I think it was Elizabeth yep or Kelly already knew how to do it or something like yeah, that yeah but re- regardless Kelly Kelly had that on lockdown like the fire yeah she I mean she, she, uh, we're, we got a fire yep um. Yeah. So I don't know. I love this season. It makes sense to me. 
I just yeah, I, I, I don't know. This has been a good this has been a good season. I like I like what's going on. I uh, I agree. It, it has been a fun season. Uh, characters are great, and everybody's playing. Like there's no there are people just showing up or quitting. Even though no. there was a couple like when the rain was really pouring and Karishma looked miserable. Yeah, I was like yeah. quit quit. Quit, quit. <laughs> and he was only she's saying not gonna, that she's not going to quit. Change his winner's pick. Yes, Chris. She's, she's final three, Zach, uh, Jay. I know, but dang it. All week I've been calling J- Zach Jay, and I just called you Zach. <laughs> Sounds I go, right. why do I keep calling? Because a couple times he has that, what, where you had that look at your age, at his age. Uh-huh. I go, God, you look like your dad there. And he goes, <laughs> no, don't tell me that. But, oh. Uh, I'm no. kidding, of course. But, but no, he he does look like you sometimes. I'm like going, he gives that you know smart Alec look, and then you go. So I, I go Jay. He goes look. I go wait. I could just call you Jay, Zach, whatever your name is. Anyway, so I apologize for calling you Zach when your name old is age. Jay. It happens. It is. It, it is. It could be. <laughs> I don't think we should be making fun of old people. I think that's uh, <laughs> I think it's offensive. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, any other feedback? Is that it, Colleen? I'm sorry. No, that's it. That's all, all right. we got. Although I did put a, something out on the Twitter. Let me just make sure that nobody, nobody I had as of a few on the minutes Twitter. ago on the Twitter. But a whole crop of people have finished watching it in a different time zone since I closed this. And nope, nothing from the Twitter, which is <laughs> at Jay and Jack. <laughs> oh my God. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. My mouse is not working. So. I just changed the batteries in that thing. Oh, it's, you it's, just it's, touched it's, it? It's, that makes it's, No, it's, I changed it's, the batteries. It's, it's the soap. I changed the batteries in your keyboard. It's the old spice soap. Yeah, because that's, that's a thing. Why don't uh, you just take the... the... No, it's still being powered. It's just not connected. Also, not yeah, it, it, I would yeah, turn it off and then on. That happens I to just, me sometimes. just did that. You think, you think I wasn't in... Tech support for however many years. Anyways, if I have the have, If you ever had Direct TV, you're supposed to plug it for 15 seconds. Um, <laughs> so uh, I will hopefully I'll get the mouse on so I can click the other tab that shows the pre-merge picks. But we do know uh, yesterday's picks. I picked Karishma because please, uh, <laughs> Jack picked Tommy and Colleen picked Nora. So no points there. Uh, I thought crying Tommy was going home today. I really thought. But they won. They won. But I, I do think Jack, if if they hadn't, I think you would have been a that would have been a good pick. All hey, right. when Karishma said that she was going to take the shot on her first time, oh my god, <laughs> you, you got in a laugh. I was like, oh, this is I'm going to marinate it level of awkward. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, Karishma, honey, <laughs> just stop. I like Karishma though. I, you know, honey, I do, yeah, honestly, I, I feel like she's honey. a cool person. She's love to hang yeah. out with her. Just, I just, I feel bad. You just I want a different win. winner's pick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's, it's what if she? What if again? If she? What if she gets there with Nora? If Charisma? Michelle can win, anyone can win. So, anyway, all right, uh, Jack. Who are you picking to go home next week? Oh, it's a do double. Do... So double. So two people. Two people. Any order, I will say, is fine. Well, now they've now they've merged. That's so very kind of you. Oops. Should we? Should we say that? Uh, well, I think we have to figure at this point that we're close to a yeah. merge because okay, you know. all right. So, but I'm you can pick say, two. You pick two any order. It doesn't have to be in any order to get the point. I'm gonna say Tommy's a target. He's a strong, uh, strong competitor, and shoot, I'm trying to think who else there is. Um, I'll say Division One Dean. Now, I will put a bonus on it. If you get them in correct order, you get double points, so four points total. All right, then I want to switch it from Dean to Tommy. Dean, then Tommy? I think Dean is the merch yeah. boat? Yeah, I think so. Dean, Tommy. Okay. So uh, if either of them goes, you get a point per. Uh, but if you get them in the correct order, you get two points per, which would be good, four points. Ooh, All right. sweet. Colleen. All right, I I think no yawning. Are we keeping you up here? No, you're not. Um, <laughs> I uh, no, my vocal cords are just very relaxed, so they were stretching. Um, I'm gonna go with damn the toucher. A that is a thing. That is a thing. Actually. All right, all right let's Dan, focus. Dan, Dan the, the toucher. toucher. He, I think he's gonna be the merge vote. Okay. And I think. I think you might be onto something with Tommy, 
but take your time. I am. Thank you. Um, You're like Kelly thinking of her plan. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I've got it. I'm inspired. I've got an. Ins- what did she say? I've got an inspiration. I've got, I got an inspiration. And then she froze. <laughs> She I was like Jay's I'm, mouth. I'm sick enough for Kelly here. I think she was doing uh, the right thing and thinking about her thoughts and then letting them come out instead of just like blurting out nonsense. That's true. All like right, I'm gonna go. Do. I'm gonna go Tommy. So I'm gonna say Dean and then Tommy. Tommy Vitor. Okay. Tommy Vitor. Dan. What? <laughs> um, all right. My picks here. I definitely think Dan's first. And. While I do really like Kelly, I think this is most her her most risky post whatever. I think there's a chance she goes home. Who? Kelly. See, mm-hmm. no, I think that you guys are right that Kelly and Dean are going to go far now because we just saw this awesome idol play thing. Sure. I don't think I don't I think I think Dan's a threat, but not a threat to win the game. No, but I think that you touch <laughs> enough people. So That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, it catches up to you at some point. <laughs> That's why I said he's a threat. But not a threat to win. I game. mean, again, we've had all this stuff, and we had a hashtag Me Too reference tonight, so I think it's all foreshadowing. All right, so uh, with that was a joke. Jack, Jack, you said merge one, but still. Uh, for Jack, so no points there. I but said, he made, he made, but he made the jury. That should count. No, it's not the merge. He okay, made the I jury. Tried. Doesn't, I tried. Make the merge, I gave. Sorry. I gave him my best shot. Uh, but Colleen and I said pre Oh, thank God. This whole time I'm sitting here thinking that I said he was merged. So excellent. I figured I, I figured I had him at merge. You Way to go, had Kelly. Me at the Way to screw up my game. So Jack originally had a lead in this game. He still has I, three. How did I have a lead? I think you did at one point. You did. did no, you, you started had the off lead, strong. Jay. You did. I did? Mm-hmm. Oh. I, I didn't think I had a lead. Well, Jack, you have three tally points. Colleen, okay. you have three tally points, and I have four Ooh, tally points. We're coming Ooh. for you. No, it, I like the fact that nobody's blowing up. It, it, it's it's a it's 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 a it's it's a tight game. Neck. Tight game. It's like today's immunity challenge. And my winner's pick is Karishma. So really, <laughs> <laughs> and there's no there's unless she quits, there's no way she she does because these players are are thinking. Yeah, but nobody's There's, winner. Look, look, look at Jan, look at Janet today. How she thought that through. These players think. So there's no way Karishma gets voted out because there's no there is no way she even she goes, uh, you know, when she said to Dean, "You've tried three times to get me out. Now it's your turn." <laughs> and she, her look was like, "Oh, he has an idol." Bummer. No way she wins. Um. But here's the thing, Colleen. You picked Elaine. I don't think Elaine's winning. And Jack, you have Lauren as your winner's pick, who I don't think is winning. So really, I think I think Lauren's a smart player, though. I think she goes. I, I think Elaine could win, even though we did, the only thing we saw today with Elaine was her going. The puzzle's not right. The puzzle's not right. I think people underestimate Elaine. I think I think if I could change my pick, I would pick Elaine. You're full of crap. <laughs> I swear I'd pick her. I get, she's sure. she's a Out smart player. Out of the player. three of those choices left, Elaine has the best chance. I guess so. I guess. All right. Well, that will do it for this week's Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen. Give us a call at 385-309-0311. Call me, Jake. No, we keep it. Oh, your vocal cords are now. My vocal cords are just like all Very tense. relaxed. <laughs> They're tense. God. Uh, send an email to SurvivorJJC at gmail.com. Join our Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash J and Jack group. Become a patron today over at patreon.com slash jnjack. We want to especially thank Tack from Tokyo, Eckhart Richter, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with the Plan, Drake the Destroyer, and Ed the Creepy Letter Carrier. And thank you to all of our patrons. You can find a full list over at jnjack.com and also on jnjack.com. There's a button to become a patron today. Click on that. Whether you give $1 or a bajillion dollars, it all helps make these podcasts possible. Check out the other podcasts on the network right now. There is Dancing with the Stars with Jack and Cindy, Broadcast with Colleen, Shandy, and Amanda, and Ramblecast After Dark with uh, Boston, Nick, Matt, and Jack. 
<laughs> you had to think Owen, about that for a second. <laughs> also, Owen and Brew's Barbecue will be back next week, and they may have a special guest. Whoa. 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 I heard, I heard them talking last night, so they may have a special guest. Wow, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. If, I, if it is who I think it is, that's a big get. Is it Jack? That's my guess. That's my guess, too. I don't know who it is. Okay. All right. Oh, I just yeah, heard they you, had a you, special you, guest. You'll just have to listen. Uh, yeah, I think they're they're trying to do weeklies for the new Mandalorian show that's coming. Because because so. Nick is out of town, he's oh, in wow. Dayton, Ohio. Oh. I don't know if should be giving that information out, but he's he's not <laughs> town. <laughs> for anybody that knows his address and wants to steal his stuff, <laughs> I don't think he cares. <laughs> anyway, all right. That is it for this week's episode. We'll see you all next week after the two hour. Double whammy. You think episode. you think we're yawning now? Hey, I know, right? Goodness oh, I know. Gracious. Next week is going to be a little bit brutal for us, but that's okay. We're going to make it through. This is what we do for we you. Got it. And I want to say again that this was a great episode, and I really enjoyed. Even though the tribal Colleen at the end. hates Kelly, like that, I, think yeah, it was I, I don't her. know why that you. Hate I don't. Kelly I've so been much. thinking though. I don't want people to think that I was like being a Jamal apologist at the before. Like I don't think. Oh, I thought you were. That's no, not what no, you're no, trying to do. No, I was just saying. Like to me, I thought it was interesting that it didn't go back to like I don't know, whatever. I liked it. I really enjoyed it, and I liked that everybody. Learned I didn't, things I didn't from see it. it that way. I just okay, thought you were cool. being a Jamal apologist. Okay, yeah. cool. I don't know. I'm like replaying it in my head. You know, that <laughs> thing that I usually do after we stop recording. But we're still recording after we've said goodbye for some reason. So we should just go. Hasta luego and goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>